Welcome back to another episode of Iron Bar featuring more combat achievements. So in this video, I will be focusing on a few Grandmaster tasks from Theater Blood and Nightmare and mixing it up with completing the easy and medium tier of the diaries finally so that I can start beefing up the total task count. Also boys, I've been grinding hard as hell and have content for a while to edit. So if y'all want more fast videos, just like this video, and if it gets enough, I'll dish another one out in a week's time. To start off, I got invited to do a quick two master tasks for Theater of Blood that were the three and four man speed tasks. Only took one or two tries each and didn't require any speed running strategies. Probably will need to learn some more efficient strategies though for the Grandmaster versions in the future. No, 1726, dang. We missed the time by 26 seconds, rip. Yo, that was so fast. That's gotta be, that's gotta be the time right there. 1635, nice, dude, we did it. Got it, got it. All right, well, we'll probably have to redo this, right? Maybe. Oh, we did it, <laughs> wow, by a freaking, we literally made it by a second or two. That's actually so scuffed. <laughs> I think it's about time to finish the easy and medium diaries since I need a break from the intensity of Grandmaster tasks. So I went ahead and quickly did the easy tier of the diaries and completed a bunch of beginner bosses in its entirety, like the Brio Fighter boss and the Hill Giant boss. Now I never thought I would have to kill the Moss Shine boss ever again after slaying her over 600 times for the Nature Staff for a master clue scroll a long time ago if y'all watched that you know the struggles man 90,000 moss chance killed uh, i think 200,000 cannonballs used yeah never thought i'd see her again but we went back for a quick reunion easy task next was over i've barely touched this boss because it's never been worth doing until now not even for a clue i got the hill giant keys from the giant pin shajian that place is amazing with a cannon Super easy task though, just went sonic and zoomed. I went to the deranged archaeologist next in Fossil Island, another new boss for me, but it's basically the same as the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness, mechanic wise, where you have to dodge the explosions. I just went with full magic and brought an Eldritch Nightmare Staff as a side weapon so that I can gain prayer back using the special attack to stay longer. Next, I went to Winter Todd and did all the tasks there. There was one that was a bit annoying where all four Pyromancers couldn't fall ever. I grabbed three other people and we each focused on healing one Pyromancer each and that task was fine. Then I went to Temporal's, another skilling boss. I haven't done much but the learning curve is pretty easy overall. The hardest challenge was definitely learning to solo it well enough. For the 8,500 point task, there was a limit of 3 rounds you can milk the points before it would fail you if you didn't finish off the boss by then. So I had to learn how to manipulate spawning the fires and fishing enough ammo to gain enough points. I'll definitely do more souls in the future for fishing barrel and the other uniques as they are quite useful and technically best in slot for certain situations. I finished the easy diaries after the Temporal's task was done. Alright, looks like I don't get the fish barrel then. <gasps> Speaking of tone water, I just got it. Uh, it's not a fish barrel, but um... Yo, I got tone water. Cool. Hey, <laughs> That's nice. I got a unique item on my first 25, so hopefully my next 25. Uh, it's the fish barrel, because that's all I want. Outside of uh, maybe this, right? It's just... So I haven't really thought about using the Tone of Water, so if you guys already have some creative uses, let me know in the comments. Obviously things like Ice Barrage and Water Spells, I already know, but other uses, let me know. Anything new pop up here? 20? Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I actually got the pet, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, you guys are tr Yo, you guys were- were- Bruh! <laughs> That's actually hilarious, man. Yo, the chat was right. The chat was saying, yo, you're going to get the pet before uh, 50, on your 50. And I did. 
All right, there we go. All right, let's ensure this. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe I'm back here already. We already know that this is 25th. Make that 26. Wow, that's crazy. So far, we've gone the rune crafting pet, the metamorphic dust for the Versic pet, and now the temporal pet during combat hours. All right, it's time to do some hard mode grandmaster top tasks. Then I decided to get sweaty again and work on some more Grandmaster tasks because the boys were itching to finish off some tasks that we couldn't finish days before. We worked on the not stepping on each other blow kill task. It's a super annoying to do, but after a bit of practice, we managed to get it. We tried to fight it as two people and let the third person come in at the end because it would be a lot easier, but that doesn't work. If someone enters late, it fails. The task required a party of three or more people fighting blow. The winning strategy was one person in front, one person in the back, and one person that was on the second row away from the pillar while dodging the flies and debris. Oh! Oh my god. I am, I am, I am. Oh my god. Die, bitch! Die, Felicia! Oh, yes, we finally did it. Oh my god, that was rough. Then we decided to work on the Nilo Prince Grandmaster task, which involves killing all three Nilo Princes in a Nilo room and completing the whole room while killing them in one phase before they transition to a different phase. So that means you have to two-shot it, essentially, from the beginning. Three times. That task was super annoying because it was glitched the last time we actually did do it, so it didn't count. But this time we actually managed to do it and it's not glitched, which was awesome. But the hard part isn't even just one phasing the Nilo Princes, it's also making sure you don't die because when you focus so much on the Princes, you let the small minions damage the pillars a lot and it's gonna go down. A lot of them will probably go down. So you have to be ready to eat up and survive while also focusing on the Princes. We actually did it. If, if, if everything goes correct here, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was hard. That was hard AF. The next Grandmaster task we try to do is the Hard Mode Perfect Arpist Challenge, where you let the boss heal to 4 HP, and your party can then not take any damage during the entire fight. That one was super annoying because it takes so long to get to the boss, and every time we fail, we have to redo all the rooms leading up to it, so it's. We decided to commit to the group scythe running Zarpus method. There is a method where you can do that and take no damage. The start was very hard and also learning the exact tiles to step on as a group took a lot of practice. I ultimately went to entry mode top to practice the zero damage scythe running on my own and also got the entry top task done along the way. And with the practice, we finally managed to clear the task and it looks amazing to see the splash landing in a perfect line. Ah, oh, we did it. Pretty much. Finally, dude. Oh my god, it took forever. Yeah. Nice, finally, dude. The last Grandmaster we did for now was the No Melee Phase 3 Verzik and Harbo. That task wasn't too hard, but it depended on how well we did leading up to the boss. Because ideally, we want to have supplies to last a much longer Verzik fight. And we got a little cocky because we tried to combine a lot of tasks together, which was not a good idea. We managed to clear it using mostly Tebow and one person using Max Mage, using Freezes and Zang. The Major would typically freeze the boss to make it easier, so it doesn't move around as much. Tebow Verzik is really RNG on hits, so we failed previously because the fight got way too long and someone died early. We cleared it with a lot of food left because Tebow RNG was insane this time. I think we're doing more damage this time. Oh yeah, I'm hitting hard. As long as we do the yellows properly, we're good. Oh my god, my Tebow is going insane right now. Oh my days. Oh, we did it. Yay, finally. I know, dude. Wow, I have one brew left over. Alrighty. Alright, we can do the other task another time. Oh. 
Sweet. All right, we got the test. Oh God. What? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. I finished the task, so we're good. <laughs> yes, there we go. We did it. Alright, so I just decided to check out what other uh, random easy tasks I have left. And uh, the entry mode one, this is the last one. So we finished the entry mode now. So the Hormone Nightmare never got combat tasks when it came out, but now it has tasks. A bunch of them are Grandmaster and stuff, so let's do it. Alright, some of these I should be able to just do naturally because I tend to, for example, killing heavy uh, Hus and Parasite. I, I can consistently do a whole fight killing all of these in one shot, so it's fine. Kill for Science Knight without her saving your prayer. I don't really understand what that means, but if I were to guess correctly, it just means not messing up when she turns it off or something. Perfection. Okay, this one I can probably just do naturally. Uh, this one I can't do naturally. This one I have to actually bring a lot of gear. I mean, not a lot of gear, a lot of food to last five kills. Okay, so these two are gonna be like special ones I have to do separately. Oh, see, that could have been it right there. Because my claws went in. Oh, yay, completed a few uh, tasks though. Crush Hour, Dreamland Express. So the reaction task is basically on phase four where nightmare likes to drop your prayer if she attacks you twice using the same style so you have to personally deactivate your prayer first before she deactivates it for you to do the task oh let's go second try yeah buddy baby nice there is the five kill one Five kill one, and uh, for this, I think I have the right supplies here. Two doses of super combat a kill, so that's enough for five kills with time to spare. Two brewers for backup. I brought my SGS this time for longevity, sustaining. Uh, a lot of sand fuse because I need that for parasite slash prayer, prayer restore. I did a few other items though, just to you know fit in more stuff, but I should be good. Oh yes, nice, nice. First kill in this five kill trip task i got some food drops and it's gonna stay on the ground too so that's really nice magic logs fuck damn that kill was so slow i gotta eat up a little bit okay all right that's that's enough i cannot this is getting really bad i took a lot of mushroom damage on the second and third fight and now i'm down to uh Two brew doses and two Sanfu doses. So I need to just flake hard as hell. So yeah, we gotta we gotta flake hard as hell, boys. But yeah, let's go. Last kill. Let's do this. Yes! Let's go. Yeah. Spin. Wow, I get I get base at the very end. When I don't need it. Ah, oh, that was close. That was a tight tight fight for sure but just made it so i've tried going for the sub seven minute full sonic nightmare task and a lot of people have told me that this task is possibly the hardest grandmaster task to actually do in terms of at least individual task wise because the rng needed to actually kill the boss that fast is absolutely insane most high level players that i've talked to have said that a more reasonable Grandmaster time should have been around 7.20 to 7.30. And these are players that I argue are better players than me overall. So if they say that, then yeah, this sub-7 minute must be absolutely insane to get. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this task anytime soon. I think it's a PB, maybe. Nah, actually it's the same as 7.25. Oh, 7.23. Okay. Well, that's a PB though, so I guess it's worth my uh, ammunition, but... Okay, I think it's time to once and for all finish the Nightmare log here. We have the normal Nightmare for the all long trip, which is don't lose any prayer points. And when they mean don't lose any prayer points, they should have been more descriptive. They mean using your own prayers and having prayer drop because of that. Thralls does not actually ruin it. 
I just tested it earlier and you can actually summon thralls. I remember the rhythm now. Alright, cool, cool. I don't actually have to. It's a lot easier with that trick. This was also one of the glitch tasks on release week where it would count another person's interactions with another instance of Nightmare in the same world. So now we actually can do this. Well done. Well done, team. Well done, team. Yay! Soul runes! And of course, Nightmare is completed. Except for Frosani, because... That one is insanely stupidly hard because of the sub-7 RNG. Then I went back to working on the medium task and focused on Scotizo. I decided to finish it all because it's annoying due to the totem entry fee. I did a bunch of Slayer and got 3 totems to do them all. Unfortunately, I used like 60 totems at once way before the update a long time ago. Scotizo tasks were stressful because the totems take a long time to get, but I did manage to clutch them in 3. I learned that the minions spawned on the west of the boss so I was able to freeze and kite them so they never touched me for the no damage task. I also combined killing Skultizo with an art light task and also killing Skultizo with no eye buff spawns all at the same time making it way harder than it needed to be but again I cannot be asked getting separate totems for each task. But we managed to do it, it was very clutch. Then I decided to finish all of the barrels tasks after since most of it is medium tasks. And they all looked pretty quick to do. A big tip for those of you guys doing your barrels task is to get yourself the strange old law pick because that law pick has 25 uses to skip doors in the crypt of barrels. So the hardest task is definitely not letting the melee brothers hit you once. And it's a bit RNG because you want ideally all four melee guys to be upstairs. And if it is upstairs, there's a strategy to deal with that. So you want to start opening the coffer from the south side and then as soon as you click and it spawns, you want to run straight north because there's a little stall there where if you go straight north, it'll take a while for them to reach you so you can freeze them before they hit you and it works really well. Ooh, there's like a stall there, you saw that? Even though he was like not right next to me, it still couldn't hit me. Oh, what? I got an Aram's Rope Top, dude, for uh, completing this test. That's actually sick. Look at that, 60. Ah, just like that. Wow, what the hell the game predicted what I was going to say. Well, all of Veros is now completed. Cool, over 200 tasks now. But yeah, I'd be spending most of my time doing Grandmasters, though, so... After, I quickly went and finished the giant mole in about less than 10 minutes. It was actually that fast. And Soratnus in like 5 minutes. They were all super easy with my gear. Mostly a brute force task. Really not much strategy. I was feeling completion vibes that day so I decided to finish off Sokano skill and boss as well. Since it looked pretty quick. It was a bit harder than expected because there's a new ring add-on to the Elven Signet that lets people do more damage than my giant pickaxe setup. So I had to find a world where I didn't end up competing with those Signet users so I could do the most damage to the boss, which is a task. I will probably upgrade my Signet from the Shooting Stars minigame since it's technically best to start skilling equipment at some point. His Hisporia was my last task for Medium Diaries, so I went and did that and cleared all the tasks as well. It took me 2 days since I failed the sub 36 time task. I got 30 seconds on my first try thinking it was the 36. But it's okay because the next attempt, or the next kill rather, I managed to get extremely lucky and got a stupid fast time on my second run, way faster than the 36. Oh! 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 Oh my god! 23 seconds? What? Okay, that wasn't even fair. I didn't even, I didn't even get to use the death charge. <laughs> what? Okay, Howler, I see you. That was insane. Okay, we're done. Yay, 23 seconds. Wow, cleared it by a, a lot. <laughs> RNG's on my side tonight. Holy shit. After clearing his spore, I am now done with the medium diaries. And the next one's going to be hard diaries. This one's a little annoying because there are some KC requirements I need to meet. Like 50 Vedion KC and Chaos Elemental on the wilderness. So that's going to take a bit longer. And overall though, I've completed 282 tasks at this point out of like 410, so we're almost to 
the 100 left mark. So that's really awesome. Got about half the Grandmasters done, most of the Masters and Elites done already. So yeah, I'd say we're making really good progress. Wait, 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 there's a shortcut, right? No way! They ah, oh, they added the shortcut, but I didn't bring ropes. Okay, uh, next time I do this, I get this step, I'm definitely gonna have to bring some extra ropes. Alright. The long rope for the dragon's eye, because I got it back to back again. Let's add long rope to this. To the rock here, and finally, after years of going through this stupid circular path i can finally just go straight down oh thank you thank you so much last one come on please something new a unique item come on damn dude the worst one that that was worse than all the other two rip yeah a total of 1.4 mil loots i guess yeah i can actually just do this huh yay no uniques but money i guess i'll take it but like, no one's complaining about overloads, you know? For for good reasons, because you can't use it everywhere, so. Yeah, I like this uh, Catacomb remake though, it's cool. This is actually uh, pretty cool, but I no longer know where to kill the, where to go to kill the fire guys. Is it over here? I need to find this, uh, oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, I gotta do this for the masters. Yep. Y'all might not realize this, but to do Master Clues, you actually have to get a bunch of these virgin olive oils. Or sacred oils, rather. So, I am gonna stock up a bit, maybe get like 50 or something. And, uh, f shout out Flam's Hair Bracelets, though. They help a ton for... For, uh, this, this type of thing here, building the temple. It's really, really bloody. Yo, three Master Clues, here we go. Terrible. Holy crap, here we go. Oh my god, this is, um... That's a lot of effort, man, for, for a he heap of junk. But, a few hundred K an ounce. And the last one is, please, come on, unique item, come on. Oh, left eye patch, dude. Oh, those are so common, dude. I've got like seven of those. Sad. Yo, I didn't realize how AFK these crash stars are. I, I think I've... Been mining this one for 20 straight minutes. Holy crap. Might as well get the ring from it or something. 